the seven highest paying technology careers for 2023. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the highest paying technology related jobs. And not only are we gonna be focusing on how much they pay, but we're also gonna be talking about the demand and other important things as well. And I'm also gonna be talking about which ones you can get into faster than others. So if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead and blast that like button like Iron Man, and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna be the easiest one to break into. It's also gonna be the one that pays the least out of all of them on this list because these ones are ridiculously high paying jobs and that is going to be technology sales. Now, the reason I put this one first, it is an entry level job. You can get into it very quickly. You actually don't even need a college degree or any previous experience. I've actually interviewed several people on this channel that were able to get into these jobs at 18 to 19 years old. For instance, Abdul was able to land and a job at 19. And his very first year, he was making over $70,000 salary, which is really awesome. So if you type in technology sales on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $109,000 a year. And if you type in technology sales on LinkedIn, at the entry level, you're gonna see 85,000 results. And the name for this entry level career is actually business development representative. And if you type in business development on LinkedIn, you are gonna see an astonishing 388,000 results. So yeah, tons of demand here in general, even more demand at the entry level. You can make good money right off the bat. I've also done interviews with other people that are like a few years in. For instance, I did an interview with somebody who is about four years in, they were making 220,000 a year. I did another interview with someone who's about five to six years in or so, and they were making over 540,000 per year. Now, if you're interested in technology sales and you wanna get some free training from the company that all these people recommend, go ahead, check the link in the description below for that free training. And they do have more advanced training available where they really just train you up on exactly what you need to know. And then they get you guaranteed interviews with companies and people are just absolutely loving it. So if you do choose to do that, go ahead, use my coupon. That is Shane50 down below for $50 off. Number two on the list is gonna be information security engineer. Now this is typically somebody who has at least five years of cybersecurity experience. And basically they are gonna oversee an entire organization's IT security. Now I've talked extensively on this channel about the importance of data and how keeping that data safe is incredibly valuable. Data is more valuable than oil or gold and you really need to keep it safe. It's super, super important to do that. Now, according to Glassdoor, information security engineers make about $117,000 a year. And if you type in information security engineer on LinkedIn, you're going to see 17,000 results at the entry level. So yeah, this is another really good one. There's a lot of positions that are very similar to this that also pay really well. Next one on the list, number three is going to be DevOps engineers. So this is a type of software engineer and they basically specialize in getting products to market as fast and efficiently as possible. And if you can get a product to market faster and make sure that it doesn't have a lot of bugs, let's say you even save the company like two or three days, a lot of the time that can equate to millions and millions of dollars in extra profit. Now, when you type in DevOps engineer on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $131,000 a year. And when you type DevOps engineer into LinkedIn, at the entry level, you're gonna see 25,000 results. Number four on the list is going to be software developer manager. So this is basically where you're a software developer and you move up into a management position. Now, according to Glassdoor, this position, software development manager, makes about $213,000 a year. If you type this name into LinkedIn, which I'm sure there's a lot of other slight variations of the name, you're gonna see over 8,900 results. And yeah, if you combine software development skills with management skills, you are gonna make a lot of money. Number five on the list is gonna be any executive other than CEO, right? So in this particular case, it's gonna be a chief technology officer or a chief information officer. Now, according to Glassdoor, chief information officers make $298,000 per year. And that's really interesting because if you look up CEO on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about 351,000. So CIOs make almost as much as CEOs. And probably I'm guessing the reason for that is because CIOs tend to work in the technology industry, whereas CEOs CEOs can work in just about any industry out there, and most other industries are gonna be lower paying. 
Number six on the list is going to be a marketing or sales director. So this is basically any type of marketing or sales position that is extremely high in a company. So you could also call this like the VP of marketing, VP of sales, et cetera. Now, if you look at different sources, you're gonna see different numbers. For instance, I found this source online that says they make about $184,000 a year. According to Glassdoor, sales directors make about 221,000. But yeah, if you are in a position where you can get into sales, you get really good at it, you move into a manager, management position and then you move up even one step further into one of these director positions, you can make insanely good money. For instance, I interviewed Antoine on this channel. He's freaking awesome. Uh, he makes a ridiculous amount of money working in tech sales. You can definitely check out that interview. He makes over $540,000 a year, believe it or not. So when you combine those sales skills in a really good industry, especially like a high ticket industry like tech sales, oh my gosh, man, you are just gonna make a ridiculous amount of money. And like I said before, if you want my recommendation as well as Antoine's recommendation on the absolute best resource to get into tech sales, that first entry level role, which is called Business Development Representative, check out that free training down below. I'll put it in the description as well as the pinned comment. According to Glassdoor, marketing directors make a little bit less, 167,000. But again, if you get into the right positions in the right industries, you can make a heck of a lot more money than that. For instance, Jerry Jeremy Burton was the executive vice president of marketing and he made over $9 million last year. Next one on the list is going to be, of course, number one, tech CEO. I've talked about this before on my channel. CEO, you can make a ridiculous amount of money, especially if it's a startup. And of course, there is more opportunity in tech than just about any other industry out there. The only one that sort of rivals it is maybe finance. So for instance, Chad Richardson of Paycom made $211 million a few years ago. Elon Musk made $6 billion in money, but his net worth actually went up $110 billion one year, and the next year it went up $90 billion. <laughs> So when you're talking about getting equity in these companies that have a ton of people who invest in them, you can make a ridiculous amount of money as a CEO, of course. But yeah, go ahead, check out the interview with Antoine. Definitely don't wanna miss out on that. I'll put it right here.